Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the logical operators. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I have opened this project folder in Sublime Text and inside the project folder, I have created a new file logical-operators.html and I have written the following HTML code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file and I have saved it as logical-operators.js this one and I have included this file inside the HTML file by writing the script tag and now let us go ahead and open this in Chrome and we'll also open the dev tools all right logical operators we use logical operators to compare two conditional statements and the logical operator will return a boolean value that is true or false and in this video we are going to learn about the logical and logical or and logical not operators let's talk about the logical and operator logical and which is denoted by double ampersand so the concept is if we have some value x and we are using the logical and and if we have another value let's say y so this will return true if both x and y equal to true that is if x is true and y is true if both are true then this logical and operation x and y will return true otherwise it will return false so let's say we have variable x and it is true and we have variable y which is also true and if we console log x logical and y so we are checking whether the left side is true and we are checking whether the right side is also true if both the sides that is if both the values both are true then the output of this logical and will be true and in this case x is true and y is true so this will give us true so if we save the file and open this in chrome we get the output true now if any one of the value is false then we'll get false so let's say if x is false and if we open the chrome and reload the page we get false and if let's say x is true and y is false and now if we check this we'll get false because x is true but y is false so if we reload we get false and if both the values they both are false then this logical and operation will always give false because x is false and y is false and we can only get true if both are true so if we go back to chrome and reload we still get false so the logical and operation will return true only if if both the values are true and it will return false otherwise the next logical operator is the logical or operator denoted by two pipe symbol so let me comment this so x or y this will give us true if either x is true or y is true and x or y will give us false if both x and y is equal to false so let's say we have a variable var x equal to true and we have variable var y equal to true so if we console log x logical or y so in this case x is true and y is true and logical or will return true if any one of the value is true and in this case both the values are true so we'll get true as the output so if we open console and reload we get true now let's say if x is false and y is true 
in this scenario will still get true because logical or will return true if any one of the value is true. And in this case, y is true, but x is false. So the output will be true. So if we save, go back to Chrome and reload, we get true. Similarly, if x is true and y is false, we'll still get true because one of the value is true. So if we save the file and go back to Chrome and reload, we get true. But if both the values are false, then the logical OR operation will give us false. And in this case, X is false and Y is false. So X logical OR Y, this will give us false. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get false. The next operator is the logical NOT and is denoted by exclamation mark. So let me comment this. And the logic here is if X is equal to true, then logical not X is equal to false. And if X is equal to false, then logical not X is equal to true. So it will inverse the value. So let's say if var X is equal to let's say true, then if we console log not x will get false. So if we go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get false. And if we change the value of x to false, then not x will give us true. So if we save the file and go back to Chrome and reload, we get true. So logical not operator will inverse the value. If the value is true, it will give us false. If the value is false, it will give us true. Now before wrapping up, let's check few small examples. So let me comment this. So example, let's say we have variable x equal to 10. And let's say we have variable y equal to 20. And we'll console log x greater than y and x greater than minus 5. So we have x greater than y. And if we look at the values, we can see x is 10 and y is 20. So x greater than y is false. So x greater than y is false. Now let's check the second part, x greater than minus five. And we can see the value of x is 10. So this is true. Now we know false, logical and true will give us false. So this will finally give us false. So if we go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get false. Let me comment this. So this will give us false. Next example. Let's say we have variable X equal to, let's say 100. And let's say we have variable y equal to minus 100. And we'll console log x greater than y or y greater than 0. So let's check whether this statement will give us true or false. So the first part is, is x greater than y? So if we check the value of X, it is 100 and value of Y is minus 100. So definitely X is greater than Y. So this will give us true. The next part is, is Y greater than zero? 
And if we look at the value of y, it is minus 100, which is not greater than zero. So this will give us false. And we know logical or operator, that is this one, will give us true if any one value is true. And logical or operator will give us false if both the values are false. So in this case, we have this side true and this side false. So the final result of true or false is equal to true. So this will give us true. So if we go back to Chrome and reload, we get true. Now let's check one final example. So let me comment this. And this is example three. So let's say we have variable X and this time value of variable X is let's say 50. And let's say we have variable Y, which is let's say 100. And we want to console log logical not X less than Y. So we have to see whether this will give us true or false. So we have is X less than Y. And if we look at the values, we can see X is 50 and Y is 100. So X is less than Y. So this will give us true. And we know logical not will convert true to false and will convert false to true. So not true will give us false. So this will console log false. So if we go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get false. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You'll find all the links in the video description. So please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.